Yes, this right here, this is actually happening. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yo, what is up there, guys? The Wiz back at it again for another video. It's been a while since we did a little bit of a KH thing over here, but what can I say? Amphibia taking over my life. So as of right now, you know, San Diego Comic Con is going around. We have some new Kingdom Hearts items on display. So of course, as per usual, we're gonna be talking about it, giving you my thoughts, this and that, details right here, right now. So let's get right to it. All right, number one, we finally have some more details in regards to the Bring Arts Heartless figures. So as of right now, it's gonna be coming two per pack, which makes sense since these are very small figures figurines over here. If they're planning to do like 50 bucks a piece, I'm a Kingdom Hearts fan, but nah, I can't justify that price over here. So it is going to be releasing around January of 2020, and it is actually going to cost you around 50 bucks. With that out of the way, let's actually go ahead and look at the Heartless figure. Yo, look at these dudes. These guys look really, really good. <laughs> There's too much articulation with this figure, but hey, you got to justify the price, you know what I'm saying? So you got antennas, you've got the legs, you've got the knees, you've got the shoulders, you've got the toes, you've got the oh like oh my god this heartless is stacking with great articulation over here so you move on to the next image just another look at you know have the posability the antennas man i'm actually really excited for this heartless figure which is funny because we do currently have heartless figures out there in the world you know that being the diamond select versions i actually have a bunch of the diamond select heartless you know for some army building now they're cool i'm not gonna knock them off but it does kind of suck how they're basically like you can't even move the arms they're just still the entire time at least with these things yo these puppies are going crazy but hey 50 bucks for two if you wanted to do some army building ooh, that's gonna cost you an arm and a leg my dude so i'll have my diamond select and maybe a few of these to, for my heartless army build. but moving on to the next image you just get a back look at the heartless looking really good way too much articulation go ahead and move on to the next image over here <laughs> look at this dude you got the heartless with some posing over here walking this and that it's very accurate to the game man they did a really good job with it you got another shot of the heartless over here just with some more iconic poses that we've seen numerous times throughout the Kingdom Hearts series. You go ahead and move on to this next image over here. All right, this is actually really cool. If you pay attention to the eyes, they're basically kind of glowing. It looks like anyway, the eyes are a translucent color. So if you're doing some photography, you want to put some flash on it, it's going to give you that glow effect, which is actually really, really cool. Moving on, you can clearly see, damn, these Heartless are stacked when it comes to accessories. Like I said, they got to go ahead and justify the price over here. But man, this is a little bit above and beyond. You've got three sets of hands and two different sets of antennas. Yo, you know I'm gonna be going crazy with these Heartless figures keep swapping out the hands and the antennas, that's crazy. So that is basically it for the Heartless figures. Like I said, it's a two per pack, 50 bucks a piece. <sighs> Eh, I can see me getting see me getting like one or two, but anything else, uh, they better have a sale on that or something. So moving on to some more brand new figures over here. Now this, a little bit of a surprise, but not too much. You've got your boy Roxas over here, looking really good. Organization 13 Roxas, might I add. As you can clearly see, he is rocking the Oblivion and the Oathkeeper Keyblade. Now this is really interesting. Oof, I guess that means Rip SH Figure Arts Kingdom Hearts. I don't know about that because you know if SH Figure Arts. They've given us some really good figures. We've got Goofy, we've got Donald, we've got Organization 13 Mickey, we've got Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora, and we even have a final form version of Sora. And what's interestingly enough is that they had a Roxas figure ready to go, colored and on display and this and that, but we haven't seen anything about that figure. So I was like wondering, like, what happened to SH Figure Arts? I'm guessing Bring Arts is going to be basically the new face for Kingdom Hearts, which I'm not entirely thrilled about because when it comes to figure wise, I definitely prefer SH Figure Arts way more than Bring Arts. I'm sorry, but with Bring Arts, there's way too many quality control issues. Things are loose, this and that. It sucks because you spend so much on a figure and things break. I'm just saying, SH Figure Arts, usually I trust more and they're usually a safer bet. And plus, they come with a ton of accessories. And not that Bring Arts isn't doing that, but still, I prefer SH Figure Arts way more. Now, it's funny, if you go back and look at the SH Figure Arts Roxas figure, it seems like they were going more for the, I guess, cartoony type of style because Roxas's hair is a lot brighter, the eyes, this and that. But when you look at the Bring Arts version, it looks like they went for the more realistic approach. The hair is out there more, the color scheme on the hair as well, even the face. Yeah, so honestly, I, I kind of like the Bring Arts version 
a little bit better than the SH figures. Like, I don't know. Honestly, I would m wouldn't mind having both of them. So, I guess I would say, you know, which one do you actually like better? Do you like the SH figure arts design, or do you like the way Bring Arts is doing it? But nonetheless, having a Roxas is pretty cool. Now, last but not least, the piece of the resistance over here. I can't believe I live to see the day. Shion. They're making a Bring Arts Shion figure. This is crazy. This is the one character where I'm like, man, it'd be great if they do it, but they're probably not going to do it. But this is insane. We're getting Axel, Roxas, and Shion. <laughs> the Trinity will finally be complete. Although, to be completely honest, this makes the most sense out of anybody because it's just the organization outfit. It's so simple and easy to do. It's not like we're doing Aqua, Terra, and Ventus. That would be a lot more work and money and this and that so realistically when you think about this these set of figures kind of makes a lot of sense and you know your girl Xion looking absolutely fantastic she's got the kingdom key keyblade in hand and that beautiful smile Kyrie comes with three faces so I'm gonna cross my fingers and pray that Xion gets these three faces and now it's really funny because we got the you know organization members of Axel Xion and Roxas but now I kind of want the regular outfits too you know I'm talking about that Twilight Town outfit for Roxas give Lee that new outfit Xion's new outfit Oh my god, <laughs> they can really milk this if they really want to over here, but guys that is basically it for this video So ultimately at the end of the day the heartless two pack will be releasing around January of 2020 It's gonna cost you 50 bucks. Oxus and Shion will be releasing as well No word on the release date price or other accessories one thing that I'm definitely going to assume these characters Roxas and Shion are gonna come with is Most likely a sea salt ice cream Axel comes with the sea salt ice cream so it would make sense for those two to come with sea salt ice but the fact that they're fully painted and they're on display tells me we probably won't be waiting too long oh no i mean it's gonna be a while to get everybody but still that is hype nonetheless it's cool to see that they are still doing kingdom hearts figures and i can only cross my fingers and pray that they continue the line you know let me get that aqua let me get that terra let me get that ventus can we get a xehanort for crying out loud is it so much to ask for the main bad guy as a character figure you know out of all these figures and which one are you most excited for and if you can have any kingdom hearts character become a bring arts figure who would you want it to be so guys if you like this video make sure to give it a big 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 thumbs up as that really helps me out you already can follow me on twitter same thing as my youtube channel which is ed the wiz i'm also on instagram which is matt swag one two three four five where i post all the good stuff so until next time my dudes i'm gonna go ahead and say bye pal we'll see you soon